Yes, my people, welcome back to another liquid alert, another crazy morning day, wherever you are, of transfer market activity. But today, we're not talking about Villarreal selling Nico Jackson to Chelsea Football Club. We're also not talking about Mason Mount and his potential signing for Manchester United. We'll cover that at some point when that's confirmed. But we are talking about Sandro Tonali signing for Newcastle United from AC Milan. This is a done deal, 100% confirmed, and is the biggest Italian transfer ever. This is huge, and this is the first real statement signing from Newcastle United since being bought out by the Public Investment Fund of Saudi Arabia. This is a great sign, and I think this is absolutely fantastic. Tonali is a real engine, box to box, can do good work at both ends of the pitch. And it's going to be very interesting to see how he translates a couple of fantastic seasons for AC Milan into the Premier League. I've got all the information. Comment your thoughts on this transfer below. Like the video if you haven't already. Let's get into it. So, back again, the boy Fabrizio Romano, Sandro Tonali to Newcastle. Here we go. And you know what that means? It's bloody done. Agreement for 70 million euro fee with add-ons. Milan will also have a sell-on clause. So if Tonali goes on to become the best midfielder in the world and Newcastle sell him to say a Real Madrid or a Barcelona, then AC Milan have sorted themselves out. They will get a percentage of the next sale. Documents are being prepared right now. Tonali will sign contract until 2029 to a six year deal for 7 million euros per year and 2 million euros in add ons and bonuses. And as just mentioned, this is a record sale ever for an Italian player. Crazy. And I think he's a phenomenal man. I am surprised he ended up going to Newcastle. I respect the fact that he's not just waiting around for maybe a City, maybe an Arsenal, maybe a Real Madrid, because I personally think he's good enough to play for those clubs. But he's saying, you know what? I want to get myself to the Premier League and let's go to an up and coming team. Let's go to a project in Newcastle United. They're in the Champions League this year. So that's attractive to him. But now there's something to build on. Maybe just maybe Newcastle United with Tonali running things in midfield can mount a challenge for the Premier League title and there he is there in the Newcastle shirt a new magpie part of the Toon Army the Italian man is absolutely loving life next tweet so the Tonali deal is completed but will not be announced by Newcastle today or this week as it's taken some time to complete the formal details, which always is the case. But we know these guys in the media, specifically Romano anyway and David Ornstein, they do have inside information and do know that the deals are done before they're actually formally announced. This one is completely done. Absolutely, truly done. All documents are in place. The deal is done and sealed as just mentioned. No doubts, contract will be valid for six years. So if anyone wants to sign this guy whilst he's at Newcastle, it's going to take a heck of a lot of money to get him out of there. And I think that's good work from the Newcastle board, the Newcastle owners protecting themselves for the future because this guy's going to go places. So either, either he's an amazing player for Newcastle for six or more years, or they get a big fat transfer fee the next time they sell him, albeit they will have to give a percentage to AC Milan. Now, I wanted to get this tweet up as well. It's got the same information before. Just wanted to mention he's 23 years old, which is very, very young for a midfielder nowadays. Most midfielders don't really hit their peak until around between the ages of 28 and 30, some even later nowadays. We're seeing a lot of late bloomers, the likes of Luka Modric, Tony Cruz, of course, as well. And I think this guy is going to be a top, top midfielder in Europe for the next 10 to 15 years. I think he's incredible. Maybe I'm gassing him up too much. Let me know in the comments below what you think about Tonali. Now, the reason I got this tweet up is because this is the biggest Italian transfer, of course, the, what, the record Italian transfer. But since the 57 million Chelsea played for Jorginho, and you look how the world's changed, man. Jorginho back then, although he didn't quite hit the heights that we expected him to, Jorginho was seen as the finished product, the finished article. And just a few years later, we're exceeding that fee by quite a significant sum for a player that is younger, less proven in England and Europe as a whole, but a player that I think will surpass Jorginho's legacy. So I personally think this is money well spent from Newcastle United. And then finally, 
Italians, Premier League, how will Sandro Tonali compare to some of his fellow country men? Of course, Claudio Ranieri, Ancelotti, Roberto Mancini, Antonio Conte, managers in their own right doing the business, but then Balotelli, Zola, of course, as well, Jorginho in there, and who could forget Paolo Di Canio. Guys, what sort of legacy do you think Sandro Tonali can build in the Premier League, specifically for Newcastle? I think he's going to be an absolute fantastic midfielder. I think he's cut from the Premier League cloth, someone that could do it at both ends of the pitch. And I'm very excited to see how he gets on. Let me know if you're a Newcastle fan, are you buzzing about this transfer? If you're a fan of another Premier League club, are you upset? I would love to know. Comment your thoughts below, like the video, and we'll be back again soon for another Liquid Alert. Bye.